Okay, so I was thinking about something a while ago. Uh, I did a reread of Chainsaw Man because I realized I had only gone through it once, and with a lot of stuff having happened by the time of reading it, I figured it was a good time to go back through it again and see what I'd missed. And I remembered that after the Katana Devil arc, Power had these extra horns, and she was way stronger, and Makimo said, oh yeah, you know, uh, we have to drain power of blood every once in a while, or else she'll turn into an even stronger, more obnoxious demon. Um, and with power being killed in chapter 81, I was like, hmm, you know, it's really weird that Fujimoto never addressed that. I mean, at least with violence, we saw him take off his mask, and he got all buff and huge before he got murked by the Darkness Devil. So, like, at least we got an explanation of why violence had the mask on. It had been weird if he got killed before he ever took it off or anything. So I was like, hmm, that's strange. I know Fujimoto likes to make deaths sudden, but it seems strange that he would leave something unresolved before killing off a character. So anyway, I just kind of forget about that for like a month or whatever. So imagine my shock when yesterday I go on to the Chainsaw Man Discord server and I check the leaks channel because it's Thursdays and we've normally got some leaks by then. And who the fuck do I see but Power herself um, smiling, just chilling. Um, so apparently... Because Denji drank Power's blood that one time, if you recall, before the Denji versus Aki arc, or I guess technically during it, whatever, um, apparently because of that, apparently because of him drinking her blood, he is able to summon her back, or Pachita is anyway. Um, oh right, Pachita is back. Um, like, this is, this is the first time we've seen, you know, cute mascot Pachita in quite some time. Um, now this basically confirms that it is Pachita running the show here, and he asks Power to save Denji. And he says that eating a powerful devil's flesh can strengthen a devil's power, which we have seen with the doll devil eating a piece of the darkness devil. So this has already been established. Um, and when Pachita asks Power if she's willing to save Denji, he says, of course, Denji's my buddy. So what does the Chainsaw Man spit out other than the true form of the blood devil? Holy fuck. Now, first of all, I have to say this is a really cool design. I'm a big fan of it. It's got enough of the features of power, like the cross eyes and the long hair, where you can be like, yeah, you know what, that's power. Yeah, and looking closer, she's got the pointed teeth, she's sorta got horns. So yeah, that's, uh, that's her. I have to say, this is probably one of the better devil designs in the entire series. Um, of course, Fujimoto would reserve that for the best girl. Um, I know, I, I may not sound as excited as I probably should right now, but just to make it clear, I'm very fucking happy that Power is back. Oh, this is so good. It seems that there, there is still hope. Because with Aki dying, Power dying, it sort of seemed like Denji was screwed. And I think what's going to happen is that... Denji is going to be saved by seeing that he's not alone, that Pochita is there helping him, that Kobeni is still there being a pet, I guess. Um, Power's back, and Reze is still alive, I guess. I mean, she got decapitated, like, a week or two ago, but, you know, hybrid, so that probably won't be too much of an issue. And I assume when Makima dies, her control will go away? I hope. Um, but anyway... The Blood Devil, at least this 
powered up version of the Blood Devil. It is super busted. Turning the blood inside of people's bodies into weapons and having it stab out of them. It's like fucking Frenzy from Bloodborne. Um, very cool shit. Makima tries to pull out a hundred year lifespan sword, but power calls upon more weapons and calls it the thousand year blood rain. Now. Ma power's power um, has nothing to do with lifespans. I think she's just saying that because it sounds more badass than the 100 year lifespan sir. <laughs> oh my god, I've missed her so much. This is so great. Makima's trash. She calls Makima trash and says, I am number one. This is the speed scan translation. Okay, so this isn't the final Viz translation that comes out on Sunday. However, I hope this is what she's actually saying, and I hope it's a reference to the popularity poll. That would be the funniest shit ever. Oh my god, all of the memes about Makima being jealous of power getting the number one spot were so fucking funny. Um, oh my god. Alright, now I'm, I'm really getting into it now. Um, so... Apparently, Makima also has control over the zombie devil. So she has, like, an army of devil hunters with her. Because she has, like, control of the entire public safety bureau or whatever. I, it's probably pretty safe to assume. Um, and they all get murked by power. Would we still call her power, or would we call her the blood devil at this point? Because, I mean, this is interesting stuff. So, power is a fiend which means she was a corpse possessed by the Blood Devil. I'm assuming this is the actual Blood Devil. However, I guess the personality possessing Power's body is that of the Blood Devil. So, it's her. Now, you have to wonder if this is just a piece of the Blood Devil, because it was the blood that Denji drank, or if that was used as a medium to summon the entirety of the Blood Devil. Um, it's a little ambiguous. We also have to consider some other things. That being the blood of other devils that Denji has drank in the past. The only one I can think of specifically would be the Bat Devil. I don't remember if he's drank in the blood of any other devils. I mean, I guess he would have gotten it from the Infinity or the Eternity Devil, wouldn't he? Yeah, I guess. And I wonder if drinking the blood from the Doll Devil's dolls would have counted as well. We'll have to see, because this opens up some interesting possibilities. It's basically turning into a Pokemon battle with who can summon the cooler, stronger devils. Um, now, Power gets swarmed by the Horde of Zombies, and then Makima pulls out the Finger Gun, which Power is very clearly traumatized by. You can understand why. Um, and then Makima pretty much demands that she give him Den- that she give her Denji, or she's going to kill her. Um, and then she agrees to give him back Denji, <laughs> and Pachita is disappointed, um, and Power's like, no, 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 totally, this was my plan the whole time. This is all going according to Kaikaku. Um, <laughs> but... I'm, it's, it's clearly not, and we'll have to see what happens. Power selling out Denji is a time-honored tradition. She's been doing it since the very beginning with the Bat Devil. Speaking of, um, maybe he'll bring that guy back too, who knows? Probably not, because Power was the only one that Denji was friends with, so I feel like bringing any of the other ones back would possibly be a bad idea. If that's, like, a possibility still. Um, but I'm sure Power is just trying to um, stall for time or whatever. Or she's just, like, totally cowarding out, which would be completely in character for her. Um, we'll have to see. Um, she may be trying to lure Makima into a position uh, where she can attack her. Though I'm sure she'd notice by now that it's not working. I feel like the plan now is to make power prime minister, as she had always wanted to. And by replacing the current prime minister, Makima's contract will be broken. So, 
in a way, Power will be the one who saves the day and defeats the trash Devil Makima. Um, but yeah, this is a really great chapter. Um, just, just a lot of fun. I'm so glad to see Power again. Things were really lifeless without her. I don't know what it was. It feels like after Power died that, like, a whole lively comedic element of the story was just gone now, which I'm sure was Fujimoto's intention because immediately following Aki and Power's death, we were going through Denji experiencing, like, this depression and him basically losing the will to live, so of course everything would feel so much more gloomy and lifeless. Um... But now that Power is back, Denji's buddy, um, Reze is alive. Great. Kobeni's not dead. I mean, Denji probably doesn't care about Kobeni as much as either of them. But, you know, it's still one of his friends who's not dead. So, Denji still has people there for him. And Makima can't take everything away from him. So, um... Think we may be approaching the climax of the arc? This is very weird. Because, like, not very long ago it felt like we were entering the final arc. And now I'm not so sure. I mean, we could still be. I mean, like, the stuff with Makima still feels like endgame stuff, but the way the story is going, it doesn't really feel like the end of the story. Especially with the introduction of the, the Four Horsemen. I assume those guys are above Makima? Unless Makima is one of the Four Horsemen. Like, maybe Control replaced War or something? Or maybe Pestilence? Because she only mentioned three of the other big devils, you know. War, Hunger, and Death. So maybe they replaced Pestilence with Control. But that's kind of a weird one. You would think maybe War would be replaced with Control. I don't know. Whatever. Um... We'll have to see what happens if this isn't the last arc, which, again, I'm kind of not really getting that vibe anymore. If it's the, not the last arc, I have a feeling that the next big thing to go after will be those four horsemen. Because um, I have a feeling they're going to get involved in some shit now that Makima has name-dropped them, and the Chainsaw Man has returned, so... With that sort of major shake-up stuff, I assume the head honchos of hell are going to start stepping out of the shadows now. But we will just have to see what happens. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification button so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Chainsaw Man chapter reviews every week. If you enjoy other series such as Record of Ragnarok, Jujutsu Kaisen, and Kangen Omega, I do videos on those series as well. So if you're interested in those, you should definitely check out my channel. If you enjoy discussing Chainsaw Man with other people, or you just enjoy the content I produce on this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have a link to it on my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.